Hi guys, Kaylee's Canvas is here. Uh, it's me, Kaylee, and I have Regan with me. All right, today we are going to show you how to paint a super, super easy but cute mummy. All right, so I have set up my station here, um, and I have with me two canvases, one for Regan and I. All right, this today I'm going to keep my canvas lengthwise like this. I know my picture's sideways uh, to you guys, but I had to do that in order to get uh, the full view of Regan and I's paintings. All right, but I have my canvas the uh, up and down ways, so that way we can make it look a little taller. We're going to put the eyes right here, um, and then he's going to be wrapped up with the cloth. So just so you know, uh, if you're painting with us, my recommendation is you definitely want to have some type of uh, covering for your table. I have this uh, cheap beat up tablecloth that I use. You can either use a tablecloth or you can use newspaper. Um, whatever works for you, all right, because we don't want to get our tables dirty, all right, but we have our canvases, we have our paint. Regan and I are going to share paint because we won't need a super huge amount, all right. We have our paint brushes, we have three paint brushes, but we're really only going to need two, but we can use three if we want to if it makes it a little bit easier, all right. And we have water, a cup of water, and a paper towel, good job, Regan, all right. And uh, also on the side, which you can't see, I do have a hair dryer to quickly dry my painting if I need to. But this is such a super, super quick and easy painting that we're going to be drawing that I don't even know if we'll even need to use it. We uh, painting that we we might need to use it on the eyes, uh, on the face part, but I'm not 100% sure yet. So let's get going. All right, so we are going to use our our biggest paintbrush, we're going to get it just slightly damp, all right? So go ahead, dip it in your water, kind of dab it on the side of your cup so it gets rid of excess water. We're going to make sure that, you know, da lightly dab it on your paper towel so that way we make sure we get rid of any water that's on the metal part of the brush so that way it doesn't drip down into our painting, all right? And we are going to use the green paint, all right? We are going to start off with the face. So he's got a green face. And pretty much we're going to paint a diamond shape. All right. It can be any way we want to, but really it should be more of like a sideways diamond. Uh, this will allow more space for his, for his eyes. All right. So we are just going to start off. All right. And it does not have to be perfectly even. All right. So I'm going to... I can even change the shape. If I don't like the shape of it, I can even change it. How? Well, you can you can do it. That's fine, too. It doesn't even have to be a diamond. Regan's got um, kind of like a rounded oval shape, which works, too. All right, but I'm going to use this kind of square shape. All right, Regan's using a rounded shape, which is cool. I like that, too. All right, but you really want to just get a diamond shape here. And then we're going to fill it in. All right, so go ahead and just fill it in with the green paint. It can be dark green, light green, um, and for creepy purposes, because this is a mummy, it's probably because usually when you see green on somebody's skin, it's because they're either sick or, or something that we don't want to say. But we've got some green skin here, okay? All right, so we are going to let this dry and we don't even need a huge amount you don't need to have a thick a really thick layer you see we just have a crooked shaped diamond here all right and while we're letting that dry so we don't have to use our blow dryer because I hate using blow dryer on camera all right we are going to use a different brush all right and we are going to paint the lines. I brought some white paint with me, but honestly, I don't even think we'll need it. All right, oh, I like the way yours goes over the side like that. Um, so we're gonna get our brush wet again. Do we All right. still need green? And, um, not right now, but go ahead, you can rinse that off. My water we don't need any more water. green right now, and we probably won't need any more green at all. Um, we have a light green here. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you use dark green or a light green. No water. Right. 
Regan's cleaning off her brush. So I've got my other brush. It's another flat brush that I have. It's a little bit smaller than the one this I one? used for the green. Yep, that one. Go ahead and get your paintbrush a little bit wet, Regan. Just a little bit. And then make sure you wipe off the metal. Oh, a little bit wetter than that, silly. You want water in it, but you don't want too much. There you go. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, now we're going to use the black paint. We probably have way too much paint here. Oh, hang on. You have a hair on your brush. Here, pull that up for a sec. Oh, she had a hair on her brush. You don't want hair on your brush, um, like a, a cat hair. We have a cat, uh, so there was cat yeah, hair on yeah, the brush. Yeah. All right, but you don't want you don't want ha cat hair on your brush because if you get cat hair on your brush, you might end up with like a little squiggly line. All right. So what we're gonna do? We're using the black paint, and we're gonna make the lines for the mummies, like the cloth wrap that goes around him. So oh. what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by kind of outlining the green part. All right, and we're just going to go in any direction we want to start off with. Okay, you can make this thin or thick. It really doesn't matter. It's okay if it's crooked because, well, mummies are really just dead people wrapped in cloth. All right, I know that might sound creepy to say, but they're just, they're fake. They're not, not real. We don't do that to people. All right, but they're just wrapped in cloth. It's just a Halloween decoration, so nothing scary here. But we're just going to kind of outline. So this is going to be part of the wrap, okay? So let's see. Let's make another, a thin, a thick uh, wrap around him. So we're going to do this. So this is one. All right, so we've got one strip here. Oh, Regan, I like yours. Yours has got some funky lines going on. <laughs> Regan's getting ahead of herself over here. All right. All right, and we're gonna make some other lines going in a different direction, all right, along this edge of it. All right, Regan's really getting creative over here. All right, so I'm gonna go like this, because this is really the edge of, of the wrap that's around his face. So this is the only part of his face that we're gonna see, because he's completely covered in this wrap. So it's only his eyes. Yep, so we're only going to see his eyes. Alright. And we can make part of a wrap over here. Pretty much he's just pretty much wrapped in a whole bunch of bandages. Because he fell over and fell off his bike. Maybe he fell off his bike. Yeah, I suppose that's possible. Do you know anybody that fell off their bike? A thousand times. <laughs> Regan fell off her bike recently. Alright, so we're going to do another line. Again, we're kind of following the outline that you created. Alright, Regan didn't want to listen. She kind of jumped ahead. But if you want to, Regan, go around the outline. Alright, so we're going to do another one. Let's see. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. He just went to the doctors. He went to the doctors? He broke his head. He broke his head. Oh my gosh. All right, and we're gonna make these in all sorts of weird directions. Okay. Because he's wrapped up in a lot of bandages. And guys, this is super quick. It's so quick, I don't even know why I grabbed white paint. Because the canvas is white, or if you're using paper, it's white. So you don't even need to paint a white background. The only reason you might need white paint is for his eyes, which I'll show you that in a little bit, or if you made a mistake and you want to and you want to cover something up. But if you're going to cover something up, make sure you wait for the paint to dry before you paint over it or else you're just going to smear the paint. All right, so we got a lot of different wraps going on here. So you'll you'll notice as I'm doing it, I always make sure there's another side to each each strand of the wrap. All right, and again, I'm getting the edges of my painting because I always like to, the edges of my canvas because I always like to get the edges for a more professional I'm doing look. the edges for the first time. Oh, good job, Regan. If any of you are painting this at home, I would love to see your, fini your final painting when you're done. Let's see. Ashley Loomis. Hey, Ashley. And Terrace. Oh, it looks cute. Can't wait to see it finished. I can't wait either. We're going to post it in the comments when we're done. All right, 
So don't forget to trace the other edge here because this is part of the band. It comes up, any part of the white is gonna be part of the, the bandages that are around him. Why right. did he have to fall off his bike though? Well, maybe he, maybe he was just nervous and he lost control. It was his first time. Yeah. All right. So. But why was his skin green? He painted his face. <laughs> to be some grass. All right, let's see. I'm gonna, I got some more. Regan, I think, finished all her bandage. I did. Yeah, you finished your bandage, so she's just waiting for me. I don't think he wants to himself any tighter. No, he doesn't want to be wrapped any tighter? No. Okay. He, he wants that fresher, not uh, tighter. Oh, okay. Regan's got quite an imagination. And like I said, you can make these bandages go in any direction you want to. As you can see, mine are kind of all over the place. Ah. You sure you don't want another strap right here, Regan? Mm, yes, yes. As I told you, he broke his head, so he has to have a loose, like loose bandages, so it doesn't hurt that much. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see. I'm almost done with my bandages, guys. So this is super, super easy, and our green paint is almost dry, which is going to be perfect. Yay. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to do this. I'll do another uh, bandage no. like this. Maybe one like this. I don't want my, my, I think I think Regan might be right. I think my mommy might be too wrapped up, wrapped up too tight, but that's okay. Your mommy really fell off his bike. Yeah, my mommy fell off a train. <gasps> yep, that's why he's very hurt. But trains are like next to grass and stuff. Hmm. So he would have got. He wouldn't have got. All hurt. right, let's see. What are we gonna do next? Your mommy, if it got that hurt, it jumped off a plane. Okay, let's stop talking so, so much pain here. All right, so we've got our mommy with our tiny little face. He's got all these straps wrapped around him. All right, and we are going to do the eyes next. Um, we're still a little bit damp, so if you want to, you can either use a blow dryer, a piece of paper to wave in front of it so it kind of gets the air flowing, or you could blow on it. This kind or of, you could just wait for it to finish drying. This, this kind what? of looks like the back of his head without the eyes. Okay. All right, so let's see, what do we want to do next? You know what we could do, I, so I rinsed off my brush, I cleaned it off pretty good. I'm going to use the purple paint here. All right, and let's okay. see. Actually, should we use purple or white? Because he's got to have eyeballs, right? So maybe we'll use, we'll use the white. Okay. It's might not, it's not 100% dry. We could blow dry it real quick. You want to blow dry it? I don't want to blow dry it. No? Hang on guys, I'm just going to blow dry. It's only going to take a second. See, it was that close. Alright, so I'm going to make some eyes. And you could make these whatever kind of shape eyes you want. I'm going to go with oval. It looks like Regan's going with oval too. Yeah. Triangle. A triangle? Pumpkin. pumpkin. He's not a pumpkin, he's a mummy. He's a green pumpkin with bandages on him. Right. I kind of want him to have some longer eyes. Alright, let's do this one over here. Yay, he's a pumpkin! That's green! And orange, and red, and purple. You can make the eyes any shape you want them to be. Okay. One can be big, one can be small. Remember, this is supposed to be ooky spooky because he's a Halloween I thought he was character. supposed to be cute, like you said. Well, he could be cute or ookie spooky. Are you going to make one eye small and one eye big? Well, no, not really. I made this one a little bit bigger than this eye. Okay, so next after this, we're going to do a little bit of purple in his eyes. So most people have blue eyes, brown eyes, green eyes. We're going to give our, mon our mummy some purple eyes. So we're not going to fill in the entire eye purple. We're just going to do a little people. A little bit. People. 
Not a pupil. His pupil is going to be black. What? Oh, okay. All right, so I'm doing this on top of the white paint, which is wet. So it is blending in a little bit. If you want to wait for it to dry or you want to use a blow dryer to dry it, you can feel free to do so. I'm just very carefully mixing it in because it's giving him a light purple colored I'm eye. Not finished. Actually, I'm going right. to make mine cute. So this is how easy it is, guys. We are almost done already. Alright, so I'm just very carefully because I don't want to mess it up because the white white paint is wet. Alright, well, you can wait for it to dry if you want to. Alright, but you don't have to. So you can make them have whatever color eyes you want, purple. but I, I like the purple. I thought the purple, green and purple are Halloween colors, so I thought it would look good with purple I, eyes. I thought orange and like and red were Halloween colors. Well, orange and green and purple are like the typical Halloween and, colors. And green? And now I'm going to use that same brush. Well, actually, I could use the, I'll use the fine liner brush because this is going to be the harder part is making the little circle in the middle. Green and red. So, green and red you can use your dry colors. brush, your fine liner, to make the, the small little circle oh, in the I have, middle. I have a little drop. All right. And you can, Regan, you're talking an awful lot, babe. You can use the, the fine liner brush to add the circle in the middle. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to start with this eye since it's the furthest one away from my hand and I don't want to smear anything. There. Alright, and we'll even outline his eye when we're done. Okay. Alright. So we're definitely going to need this fine liner brush to outline his eye. We're outlining it? Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I know what I'm going to do for mine. Okay. Now I'm going to outline it. So for this part, you don't want to have... Oh, he looks like a mad mummy, Regan. Yeah, he is. What did you do to make him so mad? No, he's not mad at me. He's mad of... That he fell off his bicycle? No, that he... That um, a guy pushed him out of the plane. Oh, my goodness. So, as you can see, Regan has quite the imagination. And imagination is really, really good when it comes to art. Um, because it allows you to add more details. So don't be afraid to use your imagination. And definitely make sure that when you're done with the, your painting, make sure you share it. You can share it right on my page if you want. Just tag, have, your, have one of your parents tag me in it so everybody can see how great of a job you did with your painting. Look at it. He's like, girl. Alright, let's see. So I got He's one eye done. Teeth. Oh, you did give him teeth. That's kind of cute. I like that. Like, I don't Dude. have room for teeth, but he definitely looks mad, and that is really cute. <laughs> I like that. Why, I need to just Regan is very, very creative, and she has a very big imagination. Oh, Regan, we used too much paint. We're going to have to paint something else after. Oh no! Paint? I'll be an artist and paint you. Alright, so Halloween is almost here, guys. It's coming up. I'm not sure if you're going to be trick-or-treating or if you even got a costume this year. But okay. if you did, I would love to know what you're going to be for Halloween. And I would also... What? Halloween's not canceled, Regan. Yes, I, I checked. Halloween. No, Halloween's not canceled. At least not yet, anyways. Not that I've seen. Well, but if you're going to be staying at home instead of trick-or-treating, uh, painting a scary Halloween guy or some type of Halloween painting would be really cool. A lot is. If All right, guys. Look at this. I think, I think we're done. It's that easy. Yay! So, thank you so much for being on, and I would love to see 
your version of this painting. You can do this with your friends and Regan's is really cool. And I'm also going to post this on my YouTube channel, so if you're watching on my YouTube channel, feel free to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and paint this with some friends. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will paint with you again very soon. Bye now.